Hey guys, welcome back finally to another custom Lego minifigure showcase video. This is the first one in a long, 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 long time. So, very, very excited to finally be doing this video. Sorry that it's so, so late. But this figure, I feel like, is worth it. Even if the movie's still relevant, I don't know. But it looks pretty great, and I can't wait to get way more in-depth with it. So let's just get right into it. Alright, kicking this view off, of course, with the one figure that's in it. We got Miles Morales. So this figure is um, not really that poseable. The legs don't exactly... Of course, the arm is going to fall off. Um, the legs move, but like not very much and not very like smoothly. As you can see, the arms fall off very easily, and that is because they are poseable. They are poseable via these little magnets that are attached. And I also put a sheet of magnet into the inside pot, into the inside of the arms, so the jacket is completely glued on. But this is how I plan on displaying him, so I don't really care. As you can see, the belt does wrap all the way around. The shoes, everything wraps all the way around. I don't know if the design wraps into the legs. Oh yeah, it wraps all the way around. Wow, look at that. I spent time, oh wow, that's a bad Nike little Jordan symbol. Anyways, as I attempt to reattach them together, um, the thing, his hood, does come off, but like, why would I do that? And I'm so sorry if that sound was, like, awful. This is how I like to display him, so that's why I want to do that. Anyways, the hands also have some red painted on them. You can kind of see that through the blurriness and bad quality of this video. I'm trying a little harder than the moose figs, guys. Come on. Anyways, as I put his arms back in... Because of the magnets and the way that it's made, because of the type of magnet, because they're not very strong, as you can see. I don't like to display it this way, because it just makes him look a lot bulkier than it needs to. I like to make him in a nice little swinging position. I think it just looks cooler. And I really wanted to be able to capture that, but with the um, paper-made jacket, it would have just torn and ripped and not worked very well. So that's pretty much the figure. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I think that I came up with a good idea for the the magnets. I know I'm not the first person to ever do it, but I think it worked out pretty well. And I like the figure a lot. And let's just, I guess, let's just wrap this video up. I just thought that I should explain why this figure is so late. It's because of this little hood piece. Didn't come in on Amazon for a long time, so that was kind of annoying. But I finally got it and I was able to finish this figure in about a day. But I'm very glad that it's finally done and I can move on. I've been working on other figures, including all of my Infinity War figures, which I've been working on heavily. So I finished one of them. That's this boy right here, because apparently Cap will have like four suits. Um, This little boy right here is coming along nice. And uh, we got Ant-Man, who's coming. And uh, the starts of Iron Man. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, that's fine. But if you did, make sure to let me know by subscribing and leaving a like down below. That would all be very appreciative. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, be positive.